Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created update by a part of this project. And if you are not seeing that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create for this by a detail part of this project. Okay, so let's start. Let me close this application. Now, first we need to create a new Z frame here. Z frame. And here I'm writing buyer details. Buyers details. Okay. Clicking on finish. Okay. Now we have to increase the sizes to 600 and 450. Okay. Now, now first thing is we need to insert level here. And right click on this, going to the properties, we are inserting a GIF here. So the name of this is buyer details. You can see. Let me close this. I already provided a link. You can just go and download these images. Okay. Uh, the link is provided in our description. Now we need uh, another level. So right click on this properties. We also need to insert buyer details. Okay. Details. Okay. Let me show here the buyer details icon. Okay. Now let me close this. Let me remove the icon from this. Okay. Let me move it a little bit up. Now. Now. now here we need a separator. You can see that. Now let me place it here. And let me increase the size of this separator. We are setting it to this 580. Okay. Now after separator we need to insert a table here to display all the user details. Okay, let me decrease the size of this and uh, let me resize it to 600, 450. Okay, 650. Now, let me increase the size a little bit. Left. Okay. Now, let me increase the size to this. Now, now we need here another separator. Okay. Now, let me increase the size to 580. And here 580. Now here we need three buttons. Uh, the button one you can see. Button two. Button three. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, here we just we need two buttons. Uh, the first button is for print this table. Okay, and the another button we are using it to close the application. So let me write this. Close. And another one is for print. Okay, print. Uh, let me make it as bold 14. Make it as bold 14. Okay. And uh, let me insert the icons in it. Right clicking on his properties. And here I just need to search close J frame here. Okay. And for the print. We have a print name icon in it. Print, you can see. Let me close this. After that, uh, you can see our uh, front end has been completed. Now we have to set icons, I, um, background image, you can say. So for that, we are moving to the set layout. We are changing the layout to absolute layout. Okay. After that, we are inserting an icon here. Right click on this and going to the properties. And here I am setting the icon all images. All page background images. Okay, let me place it. Okay, now let me remove this. Now, our front is has been completed. Now let me write the codes for the close first. Okay, and here I just need to write set visible, false, visible, false. Okay. Now, for the print, first we need to import. Uh, first we need to import okay let me write here import java okay ja java x dot swing swing dot j table okay you can see that after that we are we are moving to uh, button one okay and here i just need to write first try catch okay catch first exception 
perception E. And in try block, we have to write J table 1, okay, dot print. Okay, now in the print, we have to write J table, J table this, okay, the, after that print mode dot we are setting to the normal, okay. Now, now after that, we need to print the data uh, in this table. From, uh, and we have to retrieve the data from database. So first we need to do is first we need to add library here. Uh, just add czar. Okay. Just click on uh, clicking on it. Let me show you. And you just go to the Google and search for RS2 XML czar file and just download it. And here you have first need to extract and after that just add here. And when I click on open. It will add it in our, you can see, background scanning of this project, add it in our, this project, okay. So after adding, you need to uh, write the codes in the, first you need to decrease, uh, you need to write the code in the POM, POM, okay. Here I have to move to the event component and so, we are moving to the POM component show, okay. Make sure you, you are writing the codes in form component show, not in uh, table or image component show, okay? After that, we have to write the codes in it. So first, we are writing try, catch, okay? Exception. And after that, we are writing here, connection. Okay, before connection, we first need to import MySQL. For that, import Java, java.sql. That's right. Okay, after that, we have to import project package in it, connection provider class in it. Okay, after that, we are going for the connection. Okay, where it is? Okay, here. Connection, connection, con equals to connection provider. Okay, connection provider, you can see that. Dot get con method in it. Okay. After that, we have to create a statement here. Statement st dot con dot create. Create statement. Okay. Create statement. And after creating a statement, we have to use result set to display data. Okay, to select data, okay, execute query and this query we need to write select star from buyer, okay, we already created this table in previous videos and I inserted the data in it, so I am just displaying the data j table dot set model here, uh, model you can see this one and here I just write to db db util db util you can see here yeah? and just click result set and the table model okay and you can see rs in it automatically written okay after that if any error occurs so we also need to display that the j option option pan dot show message here null okay and we also need to connect this page with our our yeah, the home button okay so for here you have to go to the action action performed and here we just need to write new uh, buyer buyer details dot set visible true okay now is it saying here no no it get removed now let me run this file okay uh, okay, okay, okay. The first thing we also need to remove close and max and all buttons from that. So first we are moving to the this page and we are going to click on going to the properties of J frame. Okay, going to the properties and first we are clicking on this so that we can remove main max and close button from that and the location you have to set. So we have to set the location. So x axis 380 and the y axis is 160. Okay. Okay. 
let me close this let me resize this image again okay let me close this now again i'm going to run this file and let me click on this okay let me click on buy details you can see you can see details of the inserted uh, buyer details you can see that this is only single detail let me close this and insert a new detail for new user sort of kumar okay contact number i am entering here uh two three four five six seven eight nine of the zero one okay and here i'm entering sort of at the rate gmail.com okay after the address uh bhopal okay and here i'm just writing india okay and here you can set the gender i just set to the mail okay let me click on save successfully updated okay let me close this when we click on buy details you can see all the details of that uh, buyers in our database you can see here and now you can see there is a print button when we click on this print button it will open a form okay it will take a little bit time okay you can see that and here you can see there's the options one note microsoft x ps document writer you can see all the options and here is also the option to print when you click on this it will start it printing and here you can see page setup you can also print in landscape mode reverse landscape mode appearance and all you can see that here colored and monochromic and all you can see so in this way you can get the copy of the details of the buyer okay uh, let me close this so this is all about our buyer details uh, in the next video i'm going to create for delete buyer part of this billing management system project so this is all about buyer details i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you